Finally, the answer to the question, what is more important, form or function? Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Let's talk about something that seems to divide the karate world, namely the following question. What is more important in karate, form or function? Kata looks a lot different today than in the old days. You see, a kata is an amalgamation of different techniques to defend oneself, and these techniques are executed with functionality in mind. At least, this is the way it was once done. Today, many kata are performed in different ways, not necessarily because this execution is more functional from a self-defense motivation, but more from an aesthetic point of view. That which is more beautiful seems to gain on that which is more functional. A tournament kata or bunkai, especially on the higher levels, looks spectacular. And I must admit that I personally like to watch top kata performers put on their shows. I often find myself looking up videos titled kata finals, championship kata or uh, team kata bunkai. Applicability however is something else entirely. These tournament kata are lacking in applicability and sacrifice self-protection for the sake of self-perfection. In a real fight or in a life or death situation, you do not have the luxury to think about your stances and techniques. The real world is not like a movie and martial artists who want to have self-defense skills need to be able to make their fighting style dirty. Now, thanks for staying with me so far because I haven't really answered the question I posed in the beginning of the video. What's more important, form or function? I mentioned that you don't have the luxury to think about that perfect kick or punch when push literally comes to shove, but people today exceedingly do have this luxury. Let me explain. As we move further and further away from times where we regularly find ourselves in these dire situations, the idea of needing functional martial arts becomes more of a thing of the past. This means the use of self-defense skills changes from person to person. So if you are in law enforcement or serve in the military, or if you work as a bouncer or other types of security, you know, if your profession requires you to protect yourself and others, then functional martial arts are absolutely more important than those that only look good. If you live in places where being attacked physically is a regular risk and firearms aren't, then you should totally be well versed in self-defense. But if you live in a relatively safe area and you rarely, if ever, go to places mentioned before, then you do have the luxury I just mentioned. By the way, if you like this video or you really want to tell me I'm wrong, then subscribing to this channel would be luxurious. So. It's important to know where you stand when it comes to martial arts, to know where your motivations lie. Or to quote my dear friend Sabrina the Karate Shrimp, remember your why. If you've seen enough of me for now, go visit her channel right now. Give her a sub and tell her I sent you. I'll leave a link in the description. She's awesome and you should watch all her stuff. So to sum up the whole form versus function discussion. Historically, karate in general, and I believe all martial arts as well, evolved from a need to protect oneself from harm in combat. Over the centuries, or in karate's case, the decades, this need evolved towards self-perfection and the real danger diminished and sometimes even disappeared. This has led to the idea that it's okay to forego self-protection completely and only train to perform well at competitions. In my opinion, a martial art should be studied primarily for self-defense purposes and self-perfection is something that should take a passenger seat. So there's a place for this and I wouldn't want to see it go away, but it should not be the main goal of the art. Again, this is how I see it. Finally, the answer to the question, what is more important for more function? It depends entirely on you. Knowing your why, whatever your answer may be, you are correct. And want to know what's even better? You're even allowed to change your mind whenever you want. Talk about luxury. Of course, it will always be important to know where your art comes from. So click here for the story behind one of karate's main influencing arts, Fujian White Crane. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day. And as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris can kill two stones with one bird.